First off, we've added the ability to control the visibility of the 2D and 3D space boundaries by class. This class, like the others, is specified in the Advanced pane of the Space Object Settings dialog box. Simply set the desired class, and its visibility will be controlled by it. This can also be seen and changed later directly from the Object Info Palette. You can now add multiple space labels to each space object. Often, you might want a name or number to appear in the space itself, but you have a second, more verbose description off to the side. This is now possible without creating a text object or another callout. In the settings for the space label, just go to the Advanced pane and check Enable Multiple Labels. You'll see the new panes appear on the left, giving you itemized control of each one individually. While we were adding the additional labels, we improved the leader lines as well. They've received their own pane in the Space Settings dialog box. Here, you can fully customize this leader line and alter it to suit your needs. You can control the start and end points manually via the custom options, or you can choose to position the lines automatically. To make things even easier, we've added an outer wall core and center wall core to these modes, accommodating more jurisdictional standards for accurately measuring room areas for code enforcement, cost controls, quantity takeoffs, and leasing rate calculations. And, since these labels can be classed separately, this means that you can have viewports with the same classes displaying different labels per viewport.